5, the inverse function h inverse is defined as this one fun hx. So when we want to do inverse or vice versa, it's the same method. So make equal to y and then we find x. So this is how we find inverse. So it's either h to h inverse or h inverse to h is the same method. So now h negative 1x is equal to 2, 3 minus x. So we make it equal to y, 2 divided by 3 minus x is equal to y. So here 2 is equal to y, 3 minus x, 2 is equal to when we expand, y times 3 is 3y, y times negative x is negative x, y. So what we want here is x. I want this one to be positive x, y, so I move it to the next, to the left, to the other territory. So negative will become positive. Okay, it moves here. So this one, what is left on the right is 3y. 2, we move to the right. So positive 2 will become negative 2. We want x, right? s is equal to 3y minus 2 divided by y. You see here, since we have y here, multiply with x, so we have to divide. When we have x, this one is x. Okay, you see here, this one is h inverse x, right? After we do inverse, this one will be h, but in terms of y. This one is 3y minus 2 divided by y. So hx is equal to, when this one is y, you see y, y. When we, this one change to x, everything with y change to x. So 3, y will become x, and this one will become x. This one is hx hx is equal to 3x minus 2 divided by x b the values of x such that hx is equal to 2 so now we have hx is equal to 3x minus 2 divided by x so hx is equal to 2 when it is equal to 2 so we have now 3x minus 2 is equal to x, which is equal to 2. So we bring it to the other side. 3x minus 2 is equal to x times 2 is 2x, right? So we bring x to one side. 3x, 2x will become negative 2x. Negative 2 we bring to the other side, we will get 2. So here x is equal to 2. Actually, no values of x, it's just one value of x, which is x is equal to 2.